Okay, we're here with top trainer John Pullman. John, so it's April, it April 7th, right? Right, April 7th. April 7th, yeah. um, Nate, he said sixth stage. Julian yeah, yeah, yeah. Williams, just tell us about that, man. How's training yeah. camp and all that? Um, great, Nate. You know, uh, he's worked really hard. Um, it was our first uh, training camp together, and I was, uh, you know, very pleasantly surprised with how, how it's been going and how, uh, you know, all the great attributes that Nate has. I, I, I've known Nate personally for, you know, a couple of years, but this is the first time I've, I've you know, got him prepared for a fight, and it's a big fight. And uh, Julian Williams is a good fighter, a great competitor, a very technical boxer. But, um, you know, Nate has a lot of strong attributes to bring to the table as well, and I'm very excited, you know, for, it, for the night. It is a big fight because last time Julian J Rock was in that stage, he was fighting one of the Charlo brothers, and that that a win over Julian Scott, you know, it's, it propelled his uh, career. It could do the same for you guys, man. Um, how do you guys feel about that? Oh, it's a great opportunity, you know. It's what Nate has always wanted is an opportunity like this. So uh, I'm very uh, excited for him. And uh, he's ex super excited and uh, he's ready to perform, you know. Yeah. He's, he's had a, a couple of big wins. Nate has. He beat Justin the Loach on uh, TV. And that was his last fight. He's also beat Banana Man, uh, Jensen Rosario, I think his name is. He was an undefeated. Uh, guy who Nate came in on the B side on both guys on yeah. short notice was expect was picked to lose by a majority of people because they didn't know who Nate was and Nate yeah. knocked both those guys out beat him convincingly and he's coming to do the same again on April 7th he's coming to, to show everybody you know, on a bigger stage even now what he's yeah. really all about and uh he, he, he's up for the challenge. You know? So this is going to be at what weight? At 154. 154. So he's yeah. is he's he at the world title eliminator. Okay. No, um, he's a 154 pounder, but he's fought guys heavier just to get fights. Yeah, yeah. You know? So I know I was a little confused right there. As for J-Rock, man, how do you see him now coming off this loss? It looks like he's kind of lost team when he was when he was undefeated. He had that punch. He had that power. How do you feel about him well, now? You know what? Um, he, he's won his last two fights against pretty good fighters, Connolly and Isha, you know Joshua Connolly and Ishay Smith. And I know Julian personally, and, and and I spent time with Julian as well. And I have a lot of respect for Julian Williams. Uh, I think he's a, a great fighter, good solid boxer, a student of the game, and um, and I know the fight's not going to be easy, you know. But I think Nate just has a, a, a very rare internal strength and yeah. belief in himself that is very rare. And, um, and, and, and Julian, yeah, he took a loss, but he took a loss at the highest level. And he has rebounded from that, you know, with, in the past couple of fights. But again, like I said, I think the intangibles that Nate possesses is going to be the difference in the yeah. And not to look... Not to look in the past, but you faced Deontay Wilder with one of your heavyweights. Right. Um, what did you make of Deontay Wilder's last fight? And um, there's Joshua Parker. Just, just give us your thoughts oh, on okay. that. Man. Situation? Uh, just you know what? Deontay Wilder really impressed me. Very, really impressed me in his last fight. Uh, showing uh, true grit and a ton of heart that I knew he had heart, but he showed it even another dimension. Because in the seventh round, I think it was the seventh round where he was yeah, in Yeah, it was the trouble. seventh round. Um, I mean, they, they, he was all but done. And, mm -hmm. and he went to the stool and he regained his composure and those guys got themselves together. Yeah. And then he came out and, uh, and, he, and he did what he did, you know. He, he, he knocked Luis Ortiz out. So I was really impressed by, by his show of his, yeah. of his heart in that fight. As far as uh, Joshua Parker goes, uh, I think that, that fight's trickier than, than it seems to be on the surface. Uh, uh, Anthony Joshua um, is uh, is all is all that right. He's 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 the guy, right? But but Joseph Parker is a heck of a boxer. Yeah. He's mentally tough. He's gritty. He's mobile. He's fast. So I think that fight's gonna be a nice uh, competitive fight for the first half at least. Now now I think Anthony Joshua will eventually eventually get to him. But I think it's gonna be tricky. I know Wilder was coming off a layoff when he faced the heavyweight that you had at that time. Um, mm -hmm. It took him a bit to warm up or, or whatever. He lost those rounds fair and square. Um, how, how did he look now? Did, did he look different in this fight with, with Ortiz or did he show the same flaws? Or, Wilder? Yeah. Well, let's be honest. Wilder is not uh, uh, going to ever be, you know, he's not like a technical genius. In yeah, yeah. You know, he's a very basic 
with his jab. You know, he uses his jab. And, and Luis Ortiz is really good technique. So let's let's say that. He's a he has a ton of amateur fights, you know, great pedigree. He's really, so he was he was better technically than Wilder. That was that was obvious. But Wilder, again, he has a lot of things. He's not a great technical fighter, but all the other things that he does well make him a great fighter. Like yeah. his heart. Um, he's explosive. He's I mean, the elephant in the room, he can punch, he can knock a building down. Yeah. Now he has mental toughness. He's really tall and lanky, a little awkward. Um, he's athletic in that, in that way. So all those things make him hard to deal with. Yeah. You know, it's not that, like, obviously, I would think Anthony Joshua is better technically than, than Deontay Wilder, right? Mm -hmm. But Deontay Wilder has a lot of other intangibles that make that fight so interesting, yeah, yeah. you know? It's just something that he, he can overcome those certain things exactly. that Joshua brings over. Exactly. So that's why everybody wants to see that fight, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you don't know who's going to win. Not because you can say, sure, Anthony Joshua looks like he's a better boxer. Sure. Yeah. And he's, they're, they're both physically you know, imposing Gifted, yeah. guys. So, but when we all know it, Deontay Wilder, if he hits you, he can knock you out no yeah. matter who you are. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean. <laughs> so that's what it's going to come down yeah. to. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. You know, because we see both cool. those guys get hurt and recover as well. That's true. That's so true. you don't know that. That's you don't true. know, you don't know how it's going to go. That's, that's why it's so exciting. All right. Tell the fans where to follow you and tell them where the new gym is at. So um, you can follow me on Instagram at Bowman's Gym. Uh, as far as this is our new gym, me and Buddy McGurk came together with uh, Journeyman Management. Uh, I don't know where Andy's at, but he's right here somewhere. So McGurk and Pullman's Boxing Club, it's in Northridge, California. Um, 19355 Business Center Drive, suite number nine. Come see us. And you, again, you can follow me at, uh, at Pullman's Gym. And we're going to have a, we're going to get this this website going for this yeah. gym too.